if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 17 of the second series of my player here on FIFA 16. It's January the 30th, we're right at the end of the window and uh, we're currently still on the loan list. I've asked to come off the loan list as it was the manager that put me on there in the first place, but he refused to take me off. Now the first opponent today and what might be the only opponent as I'm contemplating actually showing you a scout a squad report for the uh, the team here at Derby and just having a look at my accomplishments and see what we've earned so far in the first half of season number one. This first opponent, Fulham, which we face away from home, actually put in a loan bid for me earlier on in this window, which obviously I rejected. We're having a great season here at Derby County. We're currently fourth and we are two points off the automatic promotion spot. So if we can get a win... In this game against Fulham, who currently sit 12th, we may, depending on Cardiff's result, just sneak into the top two. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, Fulham mid-table. They're interested in me. They've drawn 12 games this season so far, so I'm hoping to avoid a 13th, but we face Fulham. We may uh, go as far as the Ipswich game, because obviously it's just a couple of days later, and we may have to simulate that one as we may not be selected for fitness reasons, but we'll have to just play it by ear. But I'm contemplating or planning on actually uh, only playing the one game and having a look at all the accomplishments we've achieved so far, because we are very close to being 74 rated now. But uh, drop the video a like if you enjoy, of course. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further videos. And let's jump into this game now, away from home against Fulham. See if we can pick up all three points. Johnson into Darren Bent on the attack at the very beginning of the game. Bent's actually seeing a lot more starting football now than he uh, was earlier on in the season. Kamara's been dropped to uh, the bench, actually. And despite the fact that Kamara's actually scored a few goals for us, I think, to be fair, Darren Bent has put in the better performances. Definitely he's come off the bench a couple of times and changed games for us. So it's nice to see him get the chance in the first team. Hopefully we can set him up for a goal or two and that will warrant or justify the, uh, the decision from the manager to give him a start ahead of Kamara. We will get that to Bent via the deflection off the defender and Will Hughes will come forward with it here. Coming back towards Shackle, but we're working the ball about nicer here. This is a very good opening move and if it ends with a chance, which it may well do as that first touch takes me around the outside the defender and it's going to drop to Darren Bent. As soon as I sing his praises, he smacks over the bar with a one-on-one -on -one chance that all he needed to do was side foot in the corner. Oh, Darren, <laughs> what have you done? Navarro, I call for it. Do we go through the middle? No, Navarro is going to make the run down the line. I'll just try and fool the defender and then actually go back out to Navarro, which has opened up some good space for him. It's a decent cross as well, and Amorebieta can only put it behind for a corner to Derby County, which, of course, we will take. Can we find a Derby head? We might do. It's flicked on by Richards. That'll be a throw to us. Never mind. We'll see if we can build something from this side of the pitch instead. Olsen to take the throw. Will Hughes in support. Drilled into Andy Vyman, who's in a good position here. A few defenders around him, though. I'll call for it out wide. He'll give it to me. Navarro will push forward, hopefully. We'll play him in. Can he get another good cross in? Oh, maybe. Taking his time here. He has crossed it. I've chested it down. That was... Well, I didn't chest it down. I chested it up, in fairness. Andy Vyman looking for Will Hughes. It's off target. <laughs> I thought it was on target, but the keeper seemed very comfortable. That was going wide after 25 minutes, despite a couple of decent opportunities. We haven't yet found the back of the net. Play this inside. Bradley Johnson gets it quickly to Navarro, who keeps it in, drills it across the floor to George Thorne. Lovely footwork from the midfielder. Is he going to find me? He will. We'll look for a finesse shot. It's going to drop to Darren Bent, who heads it. Oh, off the bar, and Madler is going to get it clear. What's a header from Darren Bent? He threw everything behind it, but I didn't think it would be that good an effort. I probably should have tried to pass it there, as the defender was stood right in front of me when I went for this shot, but I got a little bit of tunnel vision when the ball was played to me by George Thorne. I thought I might just be able to score a weldy into the top corner. As it happened, that didn't... Uh, transpire, but unfortunately I've given the ball away again there by firing it straight at Luke Garbutt as well. Never mind. 35 minutes played, nil-nil. Thorne into Bent. Go back inside there to Johnson, who'll come to me. Now I'm going to make them think I'm going to Navarro and then I'm going to cut back inside. Trying to just shrug off a couple of the defenders here. We'll give it to Bent and Bent will draw a good save out of Andy Lonergan. Can we keep the ball down? Oh, we have. And I'll have the shot and I've scored. I probably should have shot with the first effort, but after I was greedy last time, I decided to pass it off this time. And we do end up actually scoring the goal ourselves. Good effort from Ben. Well saved by Lonergan. Knocked back down towards me. In fact, I don't think he actually meant to do that. He 
went for the header and he kind of hit him on the knee and the shot takes a deflection off the defender and that's what takes it past the keeper. I'll claim the goal though, the shot was on target in the first place, it's definitely not an own goal. Derby County 1, Fulham nil. Navarro on the run, I come down the line and just as I made that run he turned inside to Bradley Johnson, never mind. We'll still try and build something in, extend the lead if we can. Bent takes that under control. He's going to find me. Now I'm going to try and cut inside the defender and then look for Bent again. And Darren Bent's going to make it 2-0. A goal and an assist. Technically, within three or four minutes of each other, despite the half-time break. A 45th minute goal and then a 47th minute goal. But... Bent heavy touch, but does get it to me. I thought this turn inside there was a little bit too heavy, but we're able to squeeze it back through to him. And a good reverse angle on the shot means that Darren Bent finds the back of the net. We've extended our lead immediately after the break. Navarro into Johnson. Five forwards to Darren Bent. I'm getting a couple of accomplishments here for a tackle I made a moment ago. And the defender made a really weird run there. I'm going to drill this looking for Darren Bent. He's actually going to find Andreas Weiman. No, it's not. It's Scherner. Who are you? Not seen you on the pitch before, but he draws a great save out of Andy Lonergan. We come close to a third. I didn't even know we'd made a substitution, to be honest. What a save, though, and a great effort, too. Well, I may not know who he is, but he seems like a decent player from that first impression. Win that header, Will Hughes. Oh, he did, and powerfully so. We bring it down. Apparently, that counted as a header one. That's twice. Oh, it's going to go in. No, it's hit the bar. Oh, wow. And apparently, that counted as a long shot on target as well. Does hitting the bar technically count as target? That's twice now. We've, like, taken control of the ball. I just kind of nodded it on in front of myself, and it's counted as a header one. I'll take it. It all counts towards an accomplishment. So, uh... We've gained quite a few here. Are we 74 rated yet? We're not. We're still 73. Got a couple for tackling earlier on in the game and a couple there for long shots, uh, accuracy and shot power, but still not enough to take us up to 74 rated just yet. Throw for Fulham. Matt Smith to take it. Into Richards. Back to Matt Smith. Fulham have pushed a lot of men forward now and they've only got one defender back. So if we get the ball off them and break, we should be able to get a third as long as we're able to... Uh, Organise the counter-attack properly, which could happen now. I'll call for the through ball, and I'm on my own in their half, but I've got no stamina left. Now, Amorebieta isn't the fastest. He's not going to catch me. I'm going to have the shot, and that was pretty damned poor, to be completely honest. Definitely a winger, not a striker, aren't I, with finishing like that? That was very, very wasteful. Well, that was the perfect opportunity to get the team a third, but sadly, we're not going to get our second goal of the game. With that, that was... Pretty disappointing. I'm really almost embarrassed by how bad that shot was. But the final whistle is now going. I was going to say it's about to come. It has now gone. A massively uh, important win for us with regards to the league, providing Cardiff lost as well. Ah, we've gotten a fifth man of the match, which means we're getting loads of accomplishments here. We've got a goal and an assist and a 9.1 rating. And you can see on the left, we have now made it 274 overall. So with all of those accomplishments, our second win trait will come in handy as well when it comes to uh, keeping stamina up. Well, Fulham absolutely dominated in that game. Barely any chances for them whatsoever. I'm pretty sure they had more than one, though. But again, uh, the, the CPU isn't necessarily that good at keeping record of shots at times for opposition. Cardiff won, which doesn't necessarily help our promotion push because that means, as we're on transfer deadline day now, that we're still, despite being up to third now, outside the top two. But we're two points away from Cardiff and QPR. Only two points away from the top of the table with what, 18 games to go? So there's still enough points available for us to close that gap and get considerably ahead if we possibly can. We'll have to wait and see. I'm just going to go and do transfer deadline day. Obviously, nothing really matters here considering uh, we're not involved in making any transfers. The club as a whole, where are we? Burnley, Cardiff, Charlton, Derby. We've brought in Scherner, who's a player we saw come on there. We've sold Lee Grant and Bryson. That's annoying. We've sold our goalkeeper and one of our better midfielders as well. We've brought in Michel Makedo. I don't know who that is. We'll advance now till the end of the window. Perhaps I'll show you uh, the final hour to see if anyone uh, else comes in. We've had a loan in from Wigan. I'm not going to go down to League One, thank you very much. Although playing, trying to get the ball into Wig Will Griggs might have been pretty interesting. But I'll jump now to the end of the transfer window and then we'll see if we're selected for Ipswich. Okay, well, there's one hour left in the window and we have actually made another transfer. You can see here this is the confirmation of Scherner coming in for £2.1 million from Ajax. That's who he was, Lasse Scherner. I didn't know who he was, to be completely honest, but uh, he had a decent game when he came off the bench. Uh, I apparently delivered a masterclass, which we saw, and I rejected a loan offer from Shrewsbury as well as Millwall. But we've also brought in... 
Julio uh, Buffarini, the right back. Now, you'll remember him from getting a team of the season a couple of seasons in a row. The young Argentinian, well, he's not actually that young anymore, is he? 27 years old. Argentinian right back from San Lorenzo. That's a very good signing. £5 million spent. I think that's decent. I don't know where um, the other guy that we signed, Michel Mercado. I don't know where he plays. We'll find out when we do a squad report. And I got player of the month. So I'm getting more accomplishments now. Is that 75 rated? Actually getting pretty close to 75 rated. Our form is really boosting our uh, accomplishments and our overall stats right now. Let's have a quick train. Probably not going to go up an overall rating with this. Agility goes up one, but that doesn't affect our, uh, our overall, apparently. I would have thought agility would help, actually, but never mind, being a winger. So uh, let's advance the Ipswich. I doubt we'll be selected. If we are, we won't play it. I'll just uh, have a look at the squad report, etc. We aren't selected, so we will simulate it. Now, someone said to me in the comment section, don't skip the simulation. We've been skipping the simulation and losing games. Someone said to me, don't skip the simulation, and you might get better results. So I'm just going to leave it. Bufferini gets booked 10 minutes into his debut. Well done, son. Uh, Makeda isn't involved in the starting squad, let alone the starting eleven. So I don't know whether uh, where he plays still. Shackle equalises after skews. Ah, oh, put Ipswich one 0 up, but Douglas makes it two ones. Ipswich. Can we get an equaliser late on? It doesn't look like skipping or watching the full thing makes any difference. We're still going to lose two one at home against Ipswich Town. Never mind. Uh, Scott Carson's come in for now the departed Lee Grant at, uh, at goalkeeper, so he's still good enough to uh, make the difference for us. We've got a big game coming up on the horizon against first place Cardiff, but that defeat has dropped us from fourth, or from third, sorry, down to fourth, and the gap now is five points to the top of the table. That's really frustrating. Right, and let's have a quick look at the squad report, and then we'll have a rundown of my uh, accomplishments. Scott Carson is now a number one goalkeeper. His goalkeeping stats are going up, despite the fact that he's... Uh, physicals are going down. Then we've got Navarro, who's been first team right back uh, recently, but now Bufferini will probably take that role. Richard Keogh, 29 years old, still improving. Decent centre-back. This is our other centre-back, Jason Shackle. His physical status is starting to drop because he's 32, but he's been very good for us. Scored three goals as well, one of which was a very impressive header in the last episode. Marcus Olsen, up two overall to 71. Pleased with that. George Thorn is up one. He's been very good as well. His brother is a rather popular full-time YouTuber slash streamer, although mainly streamer over YouTube. Uh, stripping. I don't know whether any of you guys are familiar with him. Bradley Johnson is uh, a decent midfielder, came in from Norwich. Will Hughes is growing as well. Obviously a very popular youngster to go for in career mode. We're up 8 now to 74 overall in our first season. 78 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, and our ball control and dribbling are up 10 to 79. Crossing is 70, up 10 also. Finishing still needs improving, judging by the last uh, chance we had in the previous uh, game, but hopefully we can continue to improve. Short passing 70, long shots uh, 67, long passing 63. We still need to improve on that front. Darren Bent, up two despite being 32 years of age. Seven goals in all comps for him. Andreas Weiman has six goals. Actually, what are my goals? I have nine goals in all competitions and 19 assists. We really are one of the best players in the championship right now. Andreas Weiman is up two. Uh, Mitchell is not playing. Kamara, six goals in 29. Johnny Russell, no goals. He barely starts, but he comes off the bench. But no goals or assists for him coming off the bench. Chris Martin, five goals in 13. Surprised that uh, the manager hasn't decided to play him more often, considering that good goal-scoring record. Schoener, these are his, sta his stats as he comes in. Not the fastest winger at all, to be fair. But good technicals, as you might expect for a player from Ajax. Jake Buxton played a decent amount for us. Good uh, midfielder. Or good centre-back, sorry. Uh, Chris Baird, right-back. Stats really starting to drop for him now. Uh, there's a youngster that we're not playing, uh, another youngster we're not playing, 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 another youngster we're not playing. Here's Buffarini, absolutely rapid and looks pretty solid technically as well. 77 rated, up one since we brought him, somehow. Only got a 5.6 rating in that game against Ipswich though, so... I'm not really too sure how well he'll settle into the side, but hopefully we can create some sort of partnership with him down the right-hand side of the midfield and defence. Jamie Hansen going up a little bit for side. Cyrus Christie played a little bit of right-back this season as well. We've had a number of right-back partners. Thomas Sintz, good stats, but really bad form, and he's insecure as well. You need to improve when you play, to be completely honest. Jeff Hendricks in bad form. Of course, he got sent off not too long ago. Uh, Jacob Butterfield, decent centre mid. Not too sure who's going to take the position for Bryson, who's obviously moved on now. Stephen Warnock, Ryan Schott and Connor Salmon. The, all these guys out on loan. Where's the uh, where's the guy that we brought in? Mikel. Is he even here? I don't recall seeing the name. So we brought in a guy 
And he's not. Maybe it was a pre-season contract. That might be what it was. Right, then let's have a quick look at our accomplishments and see how we're getting on. I'll just switch it to locked accomplishments so you can see we need one more goal for ball control to go at one. I'm, I might not go through these individually. I'll just scroll through. So feel free to pause it at any point if you want to have a closer look. But we're quite close to a number of accomplishments now. Feel free to drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already to ensure you don't miss out on any further videos. Let me know in the comments section down below how high you reckon our rating will be by the end of this first season we're currently 74 rated up eight ratings now obviously the way that you go up ratings gets or the distance between ratings gets higher and higher as you go through the uh, the ratings i still need a lot of work to uh, actually get myself five star skill moves we have four and uh, yeah the the ratings it takes you longer to go up ratings as you, as you get higher as i'm sure you're aware so i'm not sure how high we'll get i'm going to estimate 78 or 9 maybe if we can continue to be as effective as we have been on the pitch throughout the remainder of the oh that's this is all as defender isn't it so we're not going to get any of those if we remain to be as productive on the pitch as we have been so far then we could perhaps reach 80 rated with barely any training uh, chances created is very close to going up as well completed crosses two chances created also that's the second one just five more from the uh, the previous a few more passes, we'll have vision plus one as well. A few more headers, a few more mental accomplishments as a whole, key passes, seal outs. We've done two of those already. I still don't know how to properly do seal outs, but maybe I'll, I'll just Google it or have a look on YouTube, see if someone else has done a tutorial on how to get seal outs, etc. Uh, a lot of the accomplishments are. Uh, what? As a, ah, technically we're down as a right winger, aren't we? So a lot of these accomplishments we haven't gotten yet. We might, though, stand a chance of getting these later in our career. If we move to a side that plays me as a right mid, not a right winger, then there's a whole load of accomplishments here that we can get then as well, because we're technically down as a forward. But we are getting loads of accomplishments, though, so far this season. We're actually 28% complete, as we're only halfway through season number one. So, I like I say, very, very pleased with all of the... Uh, all of the progress we've made so far couldn't really be happier, to be completely honest. I wasn't sure how well a right wing or right mid uh, save would go, but it's gone very, very well. And we're very close to a couple of accomplishments here as well, which will improve our physical stats. And obviously, as we play more games, we'll get some more here, especially when we reach the half century mark. We get a, a number of accomplishments that will come in very handy, most notably the speed ones. Uh, and again, tackles. I've not, not been that prolific when it comes to the tackling, but we did get a couple, of, a couple of accomplishments today from tackling. One more goal, as we saw earlier, and again, just matches completed, headers one, etc. To get some more shots on target, that long shot off the bar counted as a shot on target for accomplishments earlier on. Then again, it's just a, an accumulation of stuff throughout the, uh, the career as a whole for finishing and uh, things like that. And again, we haven't taken any free kicks yet, hoping... I was hoping, actually, my free kick training would improve quicker than it has, but my free kick accuracy is still only 59. Curve is decent, as is uh, as is to all of our passing attributes, really, but I was hoping that free kick... And shot power is half decent as well, but I was hoping uh, free kick accuracy would improve a little bit more. You'll have to let me know. With the training, if I... I've been simulating the gold one because I'm not very good at it. If I actually play the silver one, would my... Uh, free kick stat actually go up quicker i'm not sure you guys will have to let me know but that's all for now thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel too if you haven't so far and uh, you won't miss out on any further videos of course they'll go into your sub box providing youtube doesn't break but for now thank you very much for watching check the channel page for anything you may have missed and i'll see you next time